Emily Merton, and I'm a graduate associate with Prevention and Wellness. And today for Wellness Wednesday, we're going to be talking about building credit and what that has to do with financial wellness. So here you can see on the right-hand side of your screen in green that financial wellness is one of our eight dimensions of wellness. So what is financial wellness? Financial wellness is a state of financial well-being in which you can manage your bills, expenses, pay your debts, whether unexpected financial emergencies, and plan for long-term financial goals, such as building college funds and saving for retirement. So what does this have to do with credit? So credit helps you do a lot of different things in life, and by building good credit at a pretty young age, they typically recommend that about in the middle of high school, you start building credit, and you can even do it earlier if you have your parents' help, but you should start building credit really early on so that you can buy homes, get rent, good insurance, and then lots of different benefits by having a good credit score, buying a house, and stuff like that. So we're going to go on to the next slide, and I'll show you some more reasons why building credit is so important to financial wellness. So you can get better rates on car insurance. So having a better rate on car insurance obviously really would help a person be better off financially because if you have that lower rate monthly, then you're going to have a little bit more um, money in your savings and bank account at the end of each month. And then saving on other forms of insurance. So having good credit shows um, different businesses and companies that you are able to pay your bills regularly and that you are capable of giving money back when you borrowed it. And this helps companies see that and it might give you a lower cost of insurance in different forms. So having more housing options is another big thing. Banks like to see good credit scores when you go to buy a house. So when they give you your loan money, they, they know, they can see that you've paid back a lot of different things through your credit card. So then they'll have that backup to prove that you might that you will do the same for your house. It looks better to potential employers. Um, having a good credit score and having credit at all just looks responsible. It looks like you're planning for your future. It looks very well-rounded on a person. And you can also get higher credit limits if you have a good credit. So it might make it easier when making a big purchase to pay it off over time if you have a higher credit limit. And then you could also qualify for lower credit card interest when you are applying for a credit card because that means that if you don't get your balance down to zero that month or the balance is not paid off to what the bank is asking or the company is asking, then you won't have as much interest on the money that you have out. So some tics, tips and tricks. So read the fine print about rates and fees and don't apply for too many credit lines at once and pay your bills on time. Those are all things that you need to be thinking about when you are applying for a credit card and have a credit card. So here's some references from today. I use these three websites and they have a lot of great information if you want to check them out.